Bunny. We're, uh, Parang ano? We're in Alaska. Keshikan, Alaska. Parang building lang siya. Kalakil. That is our ship. Normally we got 365 days in the calendar year of 234 that turn away and end up being rainy. It's now foggy in this area. Medyo malamig siya ng konti. But it's good. It's a nice weather. Kasi walang ulan. Mostly daw umuulan dito. Puntay sa kabila. Ayan si Honey ba? Ayan no? Where? Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. They're going up. Ayan daw sila. O, kumikisaw-pisaw. Sabi ng asawa ko. Yun. Dali dyan, o. So, anyway. Ang ganda ng lugar, o. Very refreshing place. Parang dito. Ayan yung parang waterfalls, o. Labasa ng tubig. Connection dito sa may mga salmon. Ano yan? Farm salmon ba yan, Han? Kasi, ang wild, di ba sa dagat? It's a farm, right? So, it's just a natural one. Ang ganda ng ano dito. Bundok talaga. Irrigation yun, irrigation. 1892. They starting craving this? Yes. Wow. The totem. The totem. And what did they use to paint They would use salmon eggs. Salmon eggs. So they would come up to, so they'd come up to your wife, so you were chief, you'd say, all right, mom, put, put these salmon eggs in your mouth and start chewing. Yeah. And I'd get them emulsified, and then she'd spit them in a into a container. Now they use about four different colors, uh, but the three primary colors are red, black, and teal color. And what they would do after they get the eggs down there and emulsified, they would add like iron oxidized rust to get red. Wow. They would use oxidized copper to get the teal. Jan sila magkarbing daw ng ganyang mga kahoy. Now, the yellow they use rarely, but they would, they'd import that and that would be like sulfur. 
that they get from maybe another island or somewhere. But they would have, it would take them about a year. Are they basically the carving the dead body? No. <laughs> dead body actually is, is cremated and it's in the head of the totem. Oh. They would put that there and what they would do right a lot there. of times. Uh, when the totem, they cremate it. Remember, I told you that it rots from the inside out. Uh, but you look at the top here, so it's pretty smooth. Totoo ang cremation nila noon. Ito. There we go. My bear. This is kind of interesting. There's a gentleman that's upside down. And that would be kind of a shame. They would put a person that owed a debt to the chief. It could be blankets. It could be a variety of things. In fact, uh, this henna would tell people that he either owed and owned uh, 3,000 blankets or 20 slaves. Now, these you had the, the primary uh, clans are like the eagle and then the raven clan. And they were always kind of warring against each other. If they take over a village, then they would take take some slaves. But the slaves were a whole lot different. They were treated better than say like the, the slaves that came over from Africa, because they were treated as they were like one in the family. But they would they would recreate it whole. It has to be recreated exactly. So that way, it carries on the story. Hmm. It carries on the story. Now back to this gentleman. He's upside down because. He owes a debt to Chief Evett. And uh, culture says until he pays that debt, the chief is always going to be looking down on him going, when you gonna pay? All right. <laughs> uh, but the, the tradition has it that when he pays, he will take him off of the totem. So is this person dead also? Or this person is still alive? Dead now, oh, yeah. I mean now, yeah, but I mean at the time that he was alive. He was alive. I'm gonna tell you the story about him. You'll find out who this person is. Who? Oh. Can't tell you. Yeah, that's that's the. I would. I don't want to give it away. Otherwise, you won't follow me. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to follow you first you before you. Me, yeah. They're making several. <laughs> if you want the rest of the story now, yeah, they are. Uh, it will take him uh, about a year, a year and a half. He's a master carver. Mm -hmm. The gentleman over there, Nathan Jansen. And uh, when you're done, you know, carving this at the end of the day. You know, they're not finished yet, so they cover it with a blanket. And then it keeps it wet and moist, so it's easier to carve. It'll take them about a year, a year and a half, and if you buy this, you can get a totem commission right now today, and he would, he would carve it for you. And he would charge you seven to ten thousand dollars a linear foot. Linear? Per foot. Yes. So, that's pretty spend. So, this is the history of this village. Kung mabilis kayong magbasa, basahin nyo na lang so malaman nyo ang history dito. Chicken Alaska, where are going now to Old Fort? Okay, 
get chicken onsen view from the ship view from the ship ano plano yun hindi ibon Chicken Alaska, view from the street.